Hi guys, it's Dana. We're back. Here's part two of the um, the little collage sheet that we're working on for some Alice journals um, for the, we need some journaling cards. So uh, check out part one is already up there and I'm just working with some papers that I have from, from the actual um, digitals from the actual kit. Oh, I think I want to save the queen here. She's pointing. We can put her somewhere else. So why don't we do Alice over here? Let's see. Let's pick the perfect spot for her. Let's go here. Oops, I just <laughs> literally threw my <laughs> glue stick across the table. <laughs> okay, this is getting all yucky, so I need to add this to the pile. Okay, <laughs> jeez. Okay, I think I want to put a little bit more background paper on here. These images I'd like to actually lay on top. So let's work on getting the background covered and finished and then we'll go and add images and things that was probably a mistake to add that but that's okay it'll be fine so here we go here and I think we need some more paint dropping things everywhere some pink right here yeah you can add that there and let's see what else do we have let me look at my scrap bin too Ooh, this is pretty. So is that. Here's some more of that blue that I was using. Okay. All right. Sorry, I feel like I've got like a mess going on here, which I do. <laughs> okay. They're gonna fit over that spot. Yeah, let me just, let's see if it fits after I tear the edges off. Just don't like to have too many straight lines. If it's gonna sit on the edge of the page, that's fine. But I feel like it adds more texture. Okay, that looks good, let's do that. There's a little hole there, but that's okay. Actually, if I want a hole, I want to do it. I don't want to cover up too much of an Alice. So let's, if we're going to patch a hole, let's do it on the other side over here because we can always lay some music paper or something like that. Okay, this, let's add some blue kind of over on this side over here. So I am going to add one more page here. So let's actually do that to use some of this blue to do that. Let me move that over. Let's actually finish up this part before I move it over. This is super pretty. Let's take these roses, put them somewhere. That's really pretty. or something right there. I'm 
just going to lay this whole thing down because this is to get to remember it's going to get cut into pieces. We'll just cover up this whole spot just like that. Okay, so now let's work on covering these over here. I want to leave the word Alice as much as I can. right across there. Add this little piece of music over that one little spot there and that's all you're doing is you're just filling in space leave as much of like this writing from that book page the Alice book page as much as possible okay I need kind of a sheet here to go across here let's use some more of this this is like really pretty and that'll be a good contrast there I don't even know where this was. I think somebody sent me something and this was the envelope. They had handmade an envelope out of this beautiful paper. So I tore the envelope apart so that I could use it because I just loved the paper so much. Okay, I think we need to bring some more blue in over here. And let's do that by joining since we're all covered over here. Let's do this, add this blue by joining these two pieces together here. Okay, let's line them up. And then I'm just gonna lay this right over the top, just like that. Okay, and I think this would be Nice. In the corner there. I hear my son on the phone. It's his birthday today. <laughs> Hang on just one second. Hey, Emma. I'm I'm doing a video. Sorry, I'm talking to my brother. Happy birthday, Andrew! Happy birthday! <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, so we have some really great images here that I think I want to go and kind of layer over all of this once we have everything covered. So I want to set those aside. See some more book page from the those. Oh, these, this is, oh, look at this. Let's use this. Let's put this in the corner over here. Or maybe here. Yeah, very pretty. Okay, I'm thinking maybe this goes right there. Okay, and let's see what else. 
else we have here? Maybe some green. Take off the straight edge. getting there. We're getting there. Okay, let's see here. Maybe here. Okay, and I think this is going to be a good place to put this book page right here. So let's add that. Since it's kind of the last piece of that area, so it will sit on top without anything covering it. That's what I was looking for for these kind of images here. I didn't want anything. I wanted them to sit on top. So there we go. I think we're good over here. So we just have this area here. Cute. Let's see here. What we have left like this. It's got kind of a straight edge, so maybe we go right there. here Let's see what we want to put there how about some red that's what I'm thinking maybe some red like with this pink flower right here it does kind of blend with that hmm that's okay. I'm going to use it anyway. Because I like it. I'm so excited to be getting close to finishing these journals because I have like so many things I want to do and show you guys. And I just feel like I have to finish these first been so inspired by Gail especially these days and things that she's doing I think it's so great how we can inspire each other okay get rid of that because it's all yucky okay these are smaller bits I don't want to use any more of the black Okay, so now I can start putting some things over the top and I really liked, I ripped it a little, but I want to try and save it. That's the picture of the, the Red Queen here. And I would love to use her. Maybe put her like this. And then when we cut this journaling card or whatever, we can turn it this way. So that's what we'll do here. Okay. So I'm going to cover this spot here with her. Try and save where it's ripped here. There we go. Looky there. Nice. Okay. I want something here. This is kind of dark here. So I want something kind of bright here. So maybe, oh, I've got this scrap here. Look at that. Just sitting in my bit box right on top. And that looks perfect. So let's just use it. And it's nice and bright. Oh, 
Okay, so this is what we have right now. Let me clear out all these little scraps so we can get a good visual here. of what we're doing. So this is what we have. Here's our four pages. Okay, so now what I want to do is kind of go in with some things that are my favorites. Like this is my last little scrap of paper from the, um, well not my last, but my last that has these pretty flowers on it um, from the Stamperia Alice papers and I want to use this so I'm going to look for a place that I can put it down and I'm thinking maybe over here this is very lined up right here you see that because of the music paper I laid down so I'm thinking maybe if I laid this like right there that would break that up so let's do that <laughs> I went to take the lid off but it was already open. Dummy. <laughs> okay, so let's lay this right here just to kind of break up this area. And I'm just gonna look for any other areas that just kind of need to be broken up a little. And they all look pretty good. Maybe something right here. Let's put some music right there. See what I've got. I've got this. I can just kind of lay that there. Oh, this part's got words on it, so let's use that side. Okay. I think that looks good. Okay, so now the next step, which I'm not going to do, because I want to show you how we're going to cut these apart. Um, so the next step would be to cover the other side with journaling, um, uh, with coffee dyed, sorry, I just hit you, with coffee dyed paper, so that our journaling cards have um, something already on the back. But I'll, for the sake of this video, I'm going to do that part separate. Because I want to show you how we can look at this and kind of, I'm just going to trim the edges up and just kind of see how we're going to cut these apart. Because there's certain things, especially the pictures like of the Red Queen and stuff, that I want to save and keep intact. So anything hanging off, I'm just going to trim off. All right, let me get my paper trimmer. I am just knocking things over. Okay, where's my paper trimmer? My daughter was using it. There it is, way over there where it doesn't belong. <laughs> okay. So, journaling card is actually, you know, really what I could do because I haven't covered the back is I'm just going to cut these. I'm not even going to, I'll use my paper trimmer to cut them in half. So I'm just following the line of the book page here. up the Red Queen. I probably did. Oh no, I didn't. She's right there. Yay. Because I was not paying attention. Okay. Let's get this last piece trimmed off. And what I'll do is a whole nother sheet that I'll cut kind of like into tags and sizes that I need for certain things. Like for instance, 
we need a certain sized tag to go in our bag here on the back here. So I'll take into consideration all those specialty sizes that we need. Um, see, because like here, it doesn't matter. But here, it matters what size the tag is. So I'll probably do another um, collage sheet. And that's how I'm going to do them. I just love that idea. And wait till you see these cut apart. Let's see. How, what do these measure? These measure six and no, they measure eight and a quarter. So four and an eighth. So we'll do four and an eighth. And then I'll show you them at the end because I'll sh uh, what I my biggest thing about these is that I can't on a single card collage and make it look like these turn out. I just like I'm incapable of making it look that pretty, you know. Last one. Okay, so now let's take a look at these. Now, again, I could never collage a single sheet that I use for journaling cards and it turn out so pretty. Look at this one with the book page on it. And this one. Here's our red queen, so we'll make sure that this is this journaling card is a vertical one. Look at this with the book page. I missed the A for Alice, but you can totally tell. And here's Alice. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I just hit the camera. And there's Alice right there. But look how gorgeous this is. I cannot make collage look like that just with a single sheet. So give this a try, okay? What I'm going to do is work on these because I've got how many? Two, four, six, eight. So literally because I have four journals, that's only two journaling cards per journal. <laughs> so I'll probably do several of these um, uh, things to cut apart. So, um, but that's eight journaling cards in a matter of just a few minutes. Um, when you have so many to do, that's the perfect way to do them. So I hope you guys learned something here and um, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was probably kind of a boring video, but um, I love just playing in front of the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing and maybe learn something new like I did from Gail. So um, thank you so much, Gail, for always being such an inspiration um, to all of us. And um, you guys have a wonderful day. God bless and stay safe.